Right guys, so this video is kind of off the cuff, there's no script, I'm just making it up in my head as I go along this time. So, I awake today to find some absolutely great news, uh, courtesy of IGN, Centro 3 Remastered. Now, I fucking love Centro. I fucking love Centro. So this video was released by IGN, so it's got an overall 7 out of 10, but they say that Saints Row 3 is getting a remaster, and I believe this remaster is going to be in the vein of, like, Saints Row 4 Game of the Century Edition. And that, I mean, like, you're going to get all the DLC in one package, but as well as that, they are also revamping it, so the textures look a little nicer, and the lighting looks all that good as well. But, they do say one thing in this little trailer, and it's that Saints Row 3 is better than Saints Row 2, according to the developers. In the debate over which Saints Row game is the best, Saints Row 2 or Saints Row the 3rd, it's clear where developer Volition and publisher THQ stand. They've chosen the third entry in the open world comedic crime sandbox to get the remaster treatment. Else why wouldn't they be doing a Saints Row 2 remake? before they do the Saints Row 3 remake. So let's get into why they're doing Saints Row 3 and not Saints Row 2. So in doing my research, I found that maybe IGN haven't done as much work on this as they would like to have. As, as anybody who's played the Central 2 PC port knows, it's not the best port in the world. The Central 2 PC port is notoriously bad for its soft locks, hard locks, crashes to desktop, and even the cutscenes being extremely dark and things in the cutscenes not actually being where they should be. Most of this was kind of fixed by modders, but it's still very bad. The primary reason for this mainly would be due to the fact that the game was ported over not by Volition themselves, but by a third party. If you do want a good laugh, you gotta know who actually ported the Central 2 games to PC. It was a little known Polish development company called CD Projekt, also known as CD Projekt Red. It's widely believed that during the 2013 auctions of THQ's assets that the source code for Central 2 was in fact lost. Now, in doing that, that means that between 2013 and 2019, the overall code for this game was in fact lost. The only sort of code they really did have was the executable for Central 2, which I don't believe would have been any good as they need the code to tweak some of these things. Six months ago in 2019, they did announce on their stream that they had in fact found the source code for Central 2. Happy to announce that after a long period of time, we've actually found the source code for Saints Row 2. And what that means is we're actually going to fix Saints Row 2 PC. That is a thing that is going to happen now. Yeah. Right. Uh, Mike, how long has this been going on for? How long have we been trying to find the source code for Saints Row 2? <laughs> Well, let's see. Um, probably six and a half years ago, I floated the idea to Jeff Thompson, who was our previous programming director, um, after I went and saw Saints Row 4 in LA, about how great it would be if we could like release the source code to community so modders could do more stuff with the game. Um, Jeff tried to find it. Um, I eventually started here. Um, been talking to everybody, been talking to Jim. Um, only occasionally. Only occasionally. Every <laughs> once, I think maybe once or twice. <laughs> uh, a, a month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a week. Like, yeah. Right. Something like that. Yeah. I, they also announced, however, that it's only a two man team currently working on it. The four main things that we're working on are performance, uh, stability, uh, fixing a lot of the crashing and issues, um, integrating Steam um, networking, so co op will work again in multiplayer. Uh, and then also adding the DLC, uh, which was console only, and now we're putting the DLC uh, for PC as well. Yeah, and I, we should uh, clarify here for all the work that they're doing, this is like uh, like outside office hours style stuff here. In, indeed. Yeah, um, this is because like in the past we have said, you know, uh, we are working on a new Saints Row, but we should clarify like everyone here is working on the new Saints Row. It's these two. Yeah, it's us two. Um, basically, it's 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 a two man show. Um, I'm more or less a project manager on it, getting Thomas what he needs to do the technical fixes that the game requires. Um, so yeah. The reason I bring all of this up is because in doing a Google search and using keywords Central to IGN 2019. I've been unable to find any mention of IGN speaking about Volition actually finding this source code. To put this into perspective, Eurogamer, Polygon, fucking Reddit, Kotaku, Overclock3D.net, PC Gamer, Destructoid, they all, they all basically commented on this and said, you know, this is news. IGN must not have got the memo. To be fair, I also didn't find out about this until I was looking through some of the Steam discussions on Saints Row 2 and how to actually make it run a bit better. 
that some user had actually pointed out that they'd found the source code and linked to a Twitch clip of it. What I'm trying to say here is where Saints Row 3 was worked on by THQ and Volition, it was CD Projekt Red and THQ that worked on the port of Saints Row 2. That means the source code could have easily have been lost, which it was, and that's why Volition now have to go back and do all that work on the source code for Saints Row 2 PC, because they don't actually know what it means at this moment. What this means is having a deeper knowledge of the source code of Saints Row 3 makes it a little easier to make a new version of Saints Row 3 as it will. Whereas having not known the Saints Row 2 source code, they're going to have to work through it all, find out what everything means, and from there tweak it and work it before they can make a remaster. As well as that, they will have to update Saints Row 2 to make sure it's still stable and still works even after all of this before they go ahead and remaster that. For lack of a better term, it's not what they see as being the best out of the two, it's more what they can reasonably do within the time frame. As well as that, having done just a little bit of research, it looks like this has actually been in the works for a while now as the expected release date of the Saints Row 3 remaster is May 22nd, 2020. So that is really it, just to put a little cap on it, it's not that they can't do a Saints Row 2 remaster, it's that they're currently working on, first of all, updating Saints Row 2 to a state where it's actually workable, and Saints Row 3 remaster has been in the works for quite a while. It's not that Saints Row 3 is the favourite out of the two, it's just the one that they can feasibly do and I suppose feasibly have been doing. Right guys, so thanks for watching, I hopefully we can do a little bit more of this in the future, try to keep the channels a little more active rather than just doing, you know, reviews constantly. However, the next review is actually Resident Evil 3 and hopefully that should be up by the weekend. So, you know, if you are subscribed and you have been more looking forward to that, then it is already there. However, there is going to be the written review hopefully by Saturday as well on sidemissionblog.co.uk. If you just can't wait that long, till then guys, I'm not going to tell you to like, comment and subscribe. It's a free world, do whatever you want. I'll catch you in a bit, Shagger. You want?